Okay, fourth grade, this is the stop motion landscape how to. First, ask your parents for permission to download the stop motion app that looks like this. It's going to be the free version we're going to use. So, I want you to make a background first. Um, and I just drew a little background and then I cut out some paper. And that's going to be the movement of my mountains and the rolling hills. And I'm going to open up my app and start taking pictures by adding, um, just clicking on that red circle. And every time I move, I'm going to click the button, making sure my hand is not in the frame. Um, because if your hand's in the frame, it won't appear like it's moving on its own. So every time you move something, you're going to take a picture. And you can see here my landscape is a flower growing. You could do whatever kind of landscape you want. If you wanted to just use toys or something that you have in your home, you want to draw your landscape and then um, add something that you already have, that's fine. Here I'm making the um, frame into a square because as you could tell, my picture didn't um, go all the way throughout the background. So I'm just making it smaller and cropping it. Now I'm just reviewing my um, video to see if it needs any editing. And here you could see a finger, so I'm going to actually delete that um, so that it doesn't appear like I am manipulating it, but instead it's growing on its own. So I'm just going to click that frame and then it'll bring me to um, the edit buttons and you'll see the word delete. It took me a few tries to get that. Um, so I think you just hold it down the frame and that should pop up all of the edit buttons. So I'm deleting that and then I'm also going to copy and then paste uh, the frame that's right next to it to make the video a little longer. You could do this with all your frames to make your video longer. My video only turned out to be six seconds. So if you wanted your video to be long, you could just duplicate or you could add more and more frames. And then you're going to click on it and then press export movie. And then you're going to scroll down and go to save video. And that's how you will then um, access that to upload into Canvas. All right, good luck. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with.